Hi, this is Miriam Callie Rye from Lifestyle Me Blogspot. Today I'm going to show you, like this picture here, how to make a money lay like I did for my son Blaze. Very easy. I'm going to go over all the steps for you. And let me show you, let me begin by the supplies that you will need. What I used was 50 brand new $1 bills. Sometimes when brand new bills are difficult to find. And I tried an experiment for this process. I found some bills that were somewhat clean. I hand washed them, ironed them, used a little bit of starch, and they're almost new. So it shouldn't be too hard to find 50 single dollar bills for this, for this project. You will also need some beads to put in between all of your bills as you mount them on your thread. You will need some twine. I used 50 inch long twine and you'll need two pieces and you'll see why later. Some glue, I used a glue stick. You can also use hot glue. A method of assisting in making all the folds in your flour, just to iron it out and make it a nice sharp crisp flour. And some very small binder clips that you can find at any local office supply store to help glue them together. And um, let me just show you what I've processed so far. This gives you an idea of the beginning of the lay. It took me about 20 minutes to put this together. The whole project, the length of maybe one good movie, and you're done. So let me start. With the first bill facing you, fold it exactly in half. This is going to be an exercise of precision using the markings on the bill itself. So fold it in half, fold the edge over exactly to the edge of the white margin, flip it over, and use that first fold to line up the second fold so they're identical in size. Use your spoon to iron it out, make a nice crisp fold. Now that you've established the center, continue folding the small edge on both sides of the bill until you reach that center. I'll do this as quickly as I can. You may want to have a team of friends in your living room when you do this, and it'll go so much faster. Let me continue on the other side here, folding back and forth. Always use the prior fold behind you to be your marker for the next fold so they come out nice and even. And it's just a lot easier, and you don't have to eyeball it. It's already done for you. Once you've made all your folds, you'll have this, what I call a stick. Take your spoon again, iron it out nice and firm, and then you're going to take this and find the middle and fold it in half again. Taking your spoon, ironing it out. Next step, we're now going to glue and make our flour. Take your glue stick or your hot glue and on one side glue each edge. Now, the most important thing you need to know about this step is do not spread your glue down to the center and you will see why in the next step. You want to do from the halfway point up to the edge. Put your halves together, glue them, use one of your binder clips to hold it together as it sets up flip it around and do the same thing, gluing the other half of your flower halfway from the top down, leaving the very center available. Oops. Oops. Okay. Let me glue this side and may, let me go back and do this side. The beauty of home videos. Okay, so there's your first flower. The glue is setting up with your binder clips and this is what it'll look like when you're done with that step. You want to make 50 of these. As, as I had mentioned, you have $51 bills, which makes a nice gift. After all, what you're doing is not making just a flower lay, but a gift of $50 to whoever is the recipient. You can do this for graduations, which is more common, but I have also seen it done for Mexican quinceañeras, baby showers, 
as well as weddings for the first dance. Can you imagine the couple on their first dance each wearing their flower lay? Kind of interesting. Also, let me mention with the beads, you can choose any beads that you like. What's also nice is to use more wooden beads, a more natural look, to sort of enhance the flavor of the original idea of a flower lay, giving it a more Hawaiian look. Let me move to the next step, assembling. Assume you have all 50 flowers made. I have some made here for you. And you want to use two twine. Same length, 50 inches. It just was a good working length for me. You start by putting in whatever beads you're using. Make sure the bead you purchase has a hole large enough to fit both of your twine. Then as you assemble your flower, you want to go from the back side. And remember I told you not to glue all the way down to the center? This is where you need your opening. Take one piece of twine and go from the back side through that opening and thread it through. Second twine, take that and go to the other side of the opening of your flower and thread that through. And pull it through down to where you have your beads that I have already mounted on here and you're at the beginning of your lay. One thing to remember to make the best looking lay is thread your flowers from both sides of the twine. That way when the wearer has it around their neck, all of the dollar bills are facing face up, giving it a nice uniform look. I hope you try this. They're very popular on the West Coast. I recently learned that at my son's graduation, out of 11,000 graduates, he was the only one wearing a lei of any kind. So I encourage all my East Coast friends to go ahead and try making one of these, and let's start a new tradition over there as well. I have written an article giving you written step-by-step -step instructions on how to make one of these funny these flower lays here at lifestyleme.blogspot.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try, and check out my article if you need extra help. Bye-bye. Thank you.